Hello, and welcome back to NSUSpartans.com, fueled by Gatorade, live from Dick Price Stadium, following a 30-28 to loss for the Spartans here in their MEAC home opener against Florida A&M. Norfolk State got on the board first. Jawan Carter handed the ball off to freshman Kevin Johnson. He got things going for the Spartans to go seven to go up 7-0 on Florida A&M. Florida A&M quickly answered on the first possession of the ball game for themselves as well. Then it was a little bit of a stalemate as both defenses really stepped up. But then Norfolk State again offensively got going. Gerald Hewlett got his first rushing touchdown of the day. And the Spartans took a 14-7 lead. FAMU answered right back and then kicked a field goal late to take a 17-14 lead into the break. In the second half, FAMU came out early and got a field goal to go up 20-14, to but the Spartans behind freshman Kevin Johnson answered to take a 21-20 to lead as Johnson bowling ball his way to the end zone for his second score of the day. Jawan Carter today led the Spartans with 308 yards passing, including a touchdown to make it a 30-28 to ball game at the end of the game to Anthony Williams. For Anthony Williams, that is his third straight game with a touchdown reception. The Spartans fall, though, 30-28 to here today to FAMU. 0-1 as they welcome in North Carolina a and the reigning MEAC champions, here to Dick Price Stadium next week. We'll take this time now to look at our top five plays from today's ball game as Norfolk State kept it close but couldn't pull off the victory against Florida a m We start with play number five, and again, it's Justin Smith. He seems like he's always on top five plays as he pulls down this incredible 24-yard catch over the defensive back Troy Hilton of FAMU. Let's move to play number four as the defense got into it. Bobby Price knocks away the pass intended for Xavier Smith and the end zone, and the Spartans are forced a fake field goal to go awry. We move to play number three, and it's Gerald Hewlett. He breaks free for the five-yard touchdown score, and that put the Spartans up 14-7. to seven. How about play number two? It's a 24-yard touchdown catch for Anthony Williams, his third straight game with a touchdown reception. This one was probably the best as he dove in the end zone for the score. And we move to play number one, and again, it's the freshman. Kevin Johnson from Suffolk, Virginia, takes the ball from 36 yards out, bounces off a few tacklers, reverses fields, getting into the end zone to give the Spartans a one-point advantage at 21-20. Those were your top five plays from today's ball game. Again, the Spartans fall to one and four on the season. 30 to 28, your final score here as Norfolk State falls to Florida A&M. We'll see you next week as Norfolk State hosts North Carolina A&T. Game time is at 2 o'clock p.m. from Dick Price Stadium. You can join us here or follow us on the NSU Sports Network. Thank you for watching www.nsuspartans.com, fueled by Gatorade.